congratulations for being in the right place at the right time because the best time to watch this is now if not 10 years ago i've read a lot of books i've studied in university i've taught in university and this is the truth right here people vanquish disease now it is simple because every disease has been cured aka zero symptoms the medical minded establishment does not like the word cured once you get blood, high blood pressure or diabetes, you forever have it. Yet, it is well documented that you can have zero symptoms. If you have zero symptoms, to me, you are cured because without the symptoms, you don't have the disease. Let's get into it super quick. Number one, first and foremost, is belief. Without the belief or Without the belief, shall I be specific, without the belief that you can get cured and release all of your symptoms, then you have the belief that you will always forever be sick or have the potential to get sick. Let's drop that limiting belief. Remember some history about belief in just the past few decades there was 1,000 knee surgeries done. Out of the 1,000 knee surgeries done, some had the knee surgery, some had it washed, and some just had an incision in their knee. And the people all had similar results. In fact, the people with just an incision on their knee and there is no surgery, the doctor just made a, a scar to seem like they did something and they got amazing results. They were pain free five years later. This is amazing. Also, you could freeze to death. In Reader's Digest, a man named Sitzman froze to death because he was locked in one of the storage containers. He thought it was freezing and he even wrote on the walls, this is my last breath, I'm freezing to death, I love my family, yet it was 55 degrees. His body was proven to freeze to death. Just like when people are told something hot is on them and something ice cold goes on them, they actually f burn their skin. You have amazing powers within you. Your belief creates your entire reality. Your belief creates your entire reality. First step of success, realize that you create every detail in your life. You create every detail in your life. High blood pressure, simple fix. Some people, when I say that, are like, whoa, it took me years and years to get high blood pressure. You can release it so quickly. Right? Number one, just meditation alone has shown to lower blood pressure as much as medication. Meditation alone has shown to lower blood pressure as much as medication. 15, 20 points. Increase fruits and vegetables. Raw fruits and vegetables. Eating fruits throughout the day will make it so that you have less cravings for the sugar that is needed for our brain. 90 grams of glucose is needed for our brain. You can't just stop eating any sugar. Carbohydrate is a necessary number one choice for energy, AKA sugar. Actually, everything is broken down into sugar and then we'll go into the cell. Now, if you have too much sugar floating around in your bloodstream, then you have diabetes. We're gonna to get to that next. First, let's cover high blood pressure. Meditation, increasing fruits and vegetables. Vegetables also, not just salad greens, maybe some root, root vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes. You could have that and it could displace a lot of other calories a lot of other calories can get displaced by whole foods. Whole foods is one of the keys here. Not just fruits and vegetables, because most people aren't just gonna eat fruits and vegetables, although two thumbs up if you do, a lot of people are gonna need that nuts and seeds to have a higher concentration of calories. Nuts and seeds and whole grains like brown rice, beans like legumes like black beans navy beans you have so many choices i don't want to just list all these foods right now but realize you have so many foods in the department of whole foods mushrooms split peas black eyed peas <clears throat> bananas plantains amazing food you have okay so that all the foods i just listed figs uh, bell peppers leafy greens like kale, uh, iceberg, 
Yes, iceberg, romaine. You're gonna get tons of water and fiber in these foods, okay? And they're all super high in potassium. Super high in potassium, and they're gonna be super low in salt. So another way to decrease blood pressure is meditate, increase fruits and vegetables, which equals high amounts of potassium in your diet, lower the amount of refined foods, which is the greatest way to lower your salt intake. Yeah, the salt shaker, try and get rid of that if you have high blood pressure. Even if you don't, you don't wanna create high blood pressure. Even if it's sea salt, whatever salt it is, if you have to use it because of your belief system, put it on your hand before you directly throw it on your food and just sprinkle a little teeny bit, as least as possible, and create a less and less as time goes on. <clears throat> less refined foods. Now train your taste buds because if you're thinking, oh man, this is no taste, no flavor, wake up and train your taste buds. Fruits and vegetables are the most delicious foods on the earth because we actually name candies after fruits. Doesn't mean that that's all you have to have. I named a lot of other foods you could have and having a little bit of refined foods is not gonna crush you and give you heart, um, high blood pressure right away. It's the accumulation and having well over 10% of your diet to be that refined food, candy, or crackers, or <clears throat> even chips that have tons of oil and salt in them. Most bags of chips have a cup and a half of oil and an overload, uh, overload of salt in them. And some have sugar in them. Refined sugar, diabetes. How can we crush diabetes? This is affecting a large percentage of our population. Over 10% has diabetes and 25% uh, are pre-diabetic, meaning their blood sugar level is at a certain rate between, it's over 100, between 100 and 126 deciliters per milliliter. And that means you got diabetes. Now that's glucose or blood sugar running through your blood and not going into the cell. So the question is, how do you get blood sugar into the cell? There's two ways. Number one is insulin. And when you're diabetic, your insulin is not working properly, whether you're type one or type two. Number two is exercise. Your muscles can get that sugar <clears throat> excuse me, from your bloodstream into your cell. And that's where it needs to be. And then you will have more energy. So diabetes, over 60% of our population is um, at risk, excuse me, for blood pressure. Diabetes, over 10% of our population. And then 25% is at risk, so 35%. The numbers are climbing, actually. One out of three children born after the year 2000 is at risk for diabetes. So don't just do it for you. Do it because you're a role model for all the children around you. So diabetes, muscle equals insulin. Muscle is another way, not just exercise, but building up muscle with strength training. And that is a way to get the sugar from your bloodstream into your cell. Get rid of diabetes. Increase fruits and vegetables. Yes, fruits. Yes, with sugar. There has been a study where just one apple a day decreased diabetes, chance of diabetes by 28%. That is amazing, people. <clears throat> and the fiber, fiber, I have a whole nother video in the masterclass about fiber. Fiber slows the absorption of sugar. Fiber slows the absorption of sugar. Now, about one-fifth to one third of all the calories of fruits and vegetables, fruits specifically, are gonna be fiber. So even if you're getting a good amount of sugar, if the percentage of a fruit is high in sugar, it still is low in calories because fruits are mainly fiber and water. So you're gonna lower your sugar content and lower your refined fat content, okay? Refined sugar and refined fat. Okay, you need sugar, you need sugar, and you're gonna get it through fruit with tons of vitamins and minerals that help to prevent diabetes. And fiber and water, the classes of nutrients that are so necessary that they will prevent and reverse diabetes. Okay, F cholesterol number four. I hope I, you don't mind if I go over 10 minutes on this one. F high cholesterol, cholesterolemia. 
Simple, the only source of cholesterol is animal products. The only source of cholesterol is animal products. So reduce your animal products and you will reduce your cholesterol level. That's not the only case though, you need to reduce your saturated fat level. Animal products are also dairy, goat cheese from the farmer's market, uh, eggs, meat, red meat, chicken, <clears throat> uh, fish, is, it, it does have cholesterol. So if your cholesterol is high, maybe cut back on that for a short amount of time and then increase it and see how your cholesterol does if you need to, again, your belief system. Saturated fat lower down, the way to do that is increase your plants your whole plant foods, and then you're gonna up up your fiber, which again, helps to lessen the amount of cholesterol in your blood. Fiber's like washing your insides. Not only is it slowing the absorption of sugar, it removes excess cholesterol from your body. High triglycerides, ooh, we're on minute 11. We might have to go to 15 minutes on this because this is how to vanquish all disease in such a short amount of time. Increase triglycerols. Do you have increased triglycerols? Do you have increased fat in your blood? Those are your diagnostic tests. Take them and then follow these steps and watch them all drop to the floor to healthy, healthy levels. You're gonna lower your saturated fat, very similar to cholesterol because cholesterol is also a fat in the blood. You're gonna lower saturated fat and hydronated fats. Hydronated fats, you can find in the label. Sometimes they're in like Jif peanut butter. Hydrated fat, that's why they made natural peanut butter now that does not have hydronated oils in it. Also, Red Alert, you can make hydronated oils by increasing the temperature of the foods to over 350, okay? 450 degrees, 350 degrees. The higher it gets, the more hydrogen molecules you're putting into the food and that is not good. Refined foods, lower the amount of refined foods you're intaking. If your belief system tells you that that's ending your life, then say, I'm just gonna do it for today or this month or this week or this next six months or this next year to change my diagnostic measures and not be suffering all the time. Step into discomfort, be comfortable with discomfort so you could be comfortable more. Increase fruits and vegetables, the raw rainbow diet. Think of it simple, raw rainbow. Have a rainbow every time you could on each plate or throughout the day and have it be raw, fresh and seasonal, beyond organic. The reason why I mention this is because if you're eating out of season and it's super non-organic, super pesticided up, then it might not taste that good. It might not even be biodegradable. I've seen an apple bounce. Apples should not bounce, I don't think, okay? Uh, it should be crispy, fresh. Your blueberries shouldn't be squishy. They should be full, plump, full of life. Increasing abdominal fat, oh my, my. The percentage of overweight is 60% right now, obese 30% in the United States of America. We wanna decrease that high abdominal fat, but you can't do it by spot reducing. Doing crunches all every day, 100 or 500 crunches will not reduce abdominal fat. Again, it will not reduce abdominal fat. We remove fat throughout the body. The first fat that came onto the body is the last fat to go. And the first fat to come is usually abdominal fat, last fat to go. So it's all about energy in versus energy out. And that's when the fruit and vegetables help you very much because they're full of fiber and they're low in sugar and they don't have any refined aspect to them, so they have tons of vitamins and minerals that help your metabolism and your body be vigorous. Metabolic Syndrome X. Now, I pretty much have described all of this by one, two, three, four, five different symptoms. You could almost say six, because belief has to do with everything. But you're, if someone has high, if you have high abdominal fat, high triglycerides, high cholesterol, diabetes, and or high blood sugar, not even diabetes yet, and high blood pressure, then you have metabolic syndrome X. 33% of our population in the United States has this. That's why I am making this to wake people up in just a few minutes because these are simple diseases to vanquish and kick out of the park. Get active, 
love life. Listen, the ancient and modern science say the same thing. Five factors, five factors of fitness to get worked at all at the same time. How do you do that? It's etched on the hieroglyphs, on the first caves that we ever were in in life, on the first places and in our modern textbooks. Calisthenics, the mystical art of body weight exercises, squats, push-ups, and that's not just a squat and a push-up. There's, there's so many varieties, tens, almost hundreds of varieties of push-ups and squats. So get on it, get to it. Take this, watch it again, and get to it. Now, this is a very simplistic view, and yes, it is so simple. The, the, the greatest trick ever is thinking that things are so complicated. They're simple. Now, if you don't have any idea of how to do your exercises, or if your belief is lacking that you can do this, jump on the OG Fit Master class. I created this class for you. I created it for my father. I created it for my family because I see people being overweight and all of these diseases just piling on top, taking pills every day. How much money do you spend on those pills? How much money do you spend on doctor's visits? How much money do you spend on refined food? Take that two, five, ten dollars every day and invest in yourself. If not in the OG Fit Masterclass, invest in massive amount of books. This is my book that I taught out of in college and it's all raggedy because I've read it so many times and loved it. <sighs> Metaphysical, get in your mind because power versus force because we see things through a veil of reality and it's been documented over and over again how to cure diabetes and other different diseases. It's in your head, the biology of belief, Dr. Bruce Lipton. We create epige epigenetics. You create your own life. You create every last detail in your life. So pardon me for going over in our normal 10 minutes because everything in the OG Fit Master class is just about 10 minutes. Yes, there are some videos I go over a few minutes because I get really inspired. They're mainly the educational and mindset videos. The workout videos are just about all of them are 10 minutes long. Yes, in 10 minutes, you can crush all these diseases. You can get super strong and fit, be able to jump high and love life. So get to it because you should be able to run, jump, squat, and do push-ups with ease. Even handstands because that was our natural God-given birthright to be healthy, happy, free. Because I am strong, healthy, happy, love, and gratitude. Sing it. You can get this shirt over at imanifestdreams.com and click down below or go to ogfit.com if you're not over here now and join up on the master class. Listen, you will not regret it. If it doesn't work out for you, just return it. I, I, I can't have you in the program unless you're getting amazing results like you see down below, the amazing testimonials. If you're not at ogfit.com, get there. I love you and increase your health in life. Love it and start teaching. Because if you're not teaching, then you're probably hurting because it is easy to be healthy, happy, strong, love, and gratitude. Thank you so much. You're amazing.